And I, I wanted to share, but right before the toast, uh, a letter that I wrote to Ashley 23 years ago. Dear Ashley, today is Sunday, July 28th, 1996. We're returning from Possum Kingdom Lake. Your mom is driving. Clay is in the front seat. You, Biff, and I are in the back seat. My job is to keep Biff from eating your Whataburger while Mom drives. I bribe Biff with my own french fries, and he seems content for the time being. We're serenaded by oldies as we listen to K-Love. When the Beatles song, I Want to Hold Your Hand, comes on, I instinctively hold your little hand in mine. You don't seem to mind that I'm off key as I sing along. In fact, your eyes seem to dance as you squeeze my hand. I want to freeze frame this moment for eternity. I'm 43 and you're not quite three. For today, Ashley, I'm your prince, your knight in shining armor. I've been praying that your real Prince Charming will be a godly man who loves the Lord with all his heart, mind, and soul. I pray that he will love, honor, and cherish you as much as I do your precious mommy. Forever I will hold on to this tender moment because tomorrow will come too soon. And it's here, baby, tonight. Oh yeah, I tell you something, I think you'll understand when I say that something, I want to hold your hand. Love that. I came to life when I first kissed you. The best me has his arms around you. You make me better than I was before. Thank God I'm yours. The worst me is just a long old memory. Put a new heartbeat of fire. Our big day is finally here, and I almost just can't believe it. I can never thank you enough for loving and supporting me throughout everything. Your love and support means more to me than you ever know. you have been through so much in the last six years, but you've always been my constant, my knight in shiny armor, my handsome core boy, and a silly hell kitten. I cannot wait to see what the next 50 years or so brings us and the adventures that we'll have. I wish more than anything that your parents could be here with us today, but I know that they could not be any prouder the man that you've become. Love you so incredibly much, Ashley. Ashley, I'm so glad that you found me again after I didn't get your number. There's no one I would rather spend my life with and hopefully have some beautiful kids of our own. Thank you for putting up with my many quirks and my friends and many hobbies. I love you and knew you will be absolutely stunning today. All my love, Carl and Kevin. I now pronounce you husband and wife. Carl and Kevin.
brand new. Ashley is full of energy, okay? So the night that I met her, she actually crawled into my lap, didn't know this little girl. I'm a senior, she's a freshman. She crawled into my lap and laid on me and said, I like you, will you please take me home? I'm tired. <laughs> and it was the cutest thing. And from that moment on, I knew Ashley was someone special and someone that I really wanted in my life. Always continue to be the fun, loving, and ecstatic person that you are. That's the person that I saw Carl fall in love with. And that will be the person that gets y'all through everything. Like when I close my eyes. push through circumstances that no one else I know has ever been pushed close and you have persevered and you've come out on top and I can't wait to see what y'all's future holds for you. I've seen what you can do by yourself and I see what Ashley does to push you and better you. Thank you for that Ashley. You keep him grounded. I just I can't I can't wait to see where the future is for y'all too. But there's wood ships and metal ships, ships that sail the sea. The best ships are friendships. May they ever be, my man. Brand new.